Hello YouTube. So I got a 2020 M1 MacBook Air in 2022. Is it still worth it? Is it still relevant? So I'm going to find out in this video. With the M1 MacBook Air, can it replace my 2016 MacBook Pro that I was using? And how does it compare with the 2018 MacBook Air? And also we'll be seeing if the M2 MacBook Air is worth waiting for. So first let's start with the unboxing shall we? So this is the 8 core GPU variant with 512 GB of storage. So there is also a 7 core GPU option but again like in real world there won't be much difference between them. But one thing you cannot upgrade the internal storage or RAM in future. So make the right decision so when you are getting so as per your needs like you can upgrade the ram to 16 gigabytes or the internal memory so but for 90 percent of people the base 256 gigabyte variant and 8 gigs of ram should be fine for at least like five years of usage and it comes with a 30 watt adapter and this is how it looks so shall we open the plastic oh. this experience I just love it and let's boot up for the first time shall we oh, that boot up sound so first let's see if the M1 MacBook Air is a worthy upgrade over the previous Intel MacBook Air and MacBook Pro so right now with me I am having the 2018 MacBook Air and the 2016 MacBook Pro the dual core variant so I'm gonna be comparing with some benchmarks and some tests so before that let's compare some physical differences so on the left side I'm having the 2018 MacBook Air in space gray and the right side I'm having the M1 MacBook Air in silver so as you can notice the subtle color differences so both of them looks good again it's your personal choice and the size of it like it's almost the same the M1 MacBook Air it's slightly thicker because of the newer keyboard so the scissor switches have come back so I'm gonna be testing out even that and I'm gonna be comparing with the previous the butterfly switches and so this is with the MacBook Pro and the tapered edge of MacBook Air it feels a little bit slimmer compared but with the thickest point the MacBook Pro it's actually thicker uh, I mean thinner so that's with the physical difference so let's run some benchmark so i have geekbench 5 here so i'm going to be running uh, in all three computers and like we'll be comparing the result in some time so let it run and let me cut this part and go to the results so here we have it the results and like there is no surprise i think like you might have seen various benchmarks with the m1 and it just uh, crushes out everything the the single core performance of M1 is almost twice the Intel and the multi core is almost like 4 or 5 times more than the Intel. So also if you compare the Ryzen 7 5800H the scores of a single core is lesser than the M1 and the multi core it's uh, almost uh, equal but like if you compare the graphics with the uh, RTX 3060 so it is lagging behind but with the M1 Max chip present in the 14 and the 16 inch macbook pro so it beats it so let's run some cinebench r23 benchmark test so it's also going to be kind of a stress test on all three computers so the m1 macbook air it doesn't have a fan so there is no active cooling system but the intel macbook air it has a fan but it's not connected to heat sink so right now let's uh, test out how the fans uh, get turned on so with the Intel MacBook Air as you can notice so it's around 51 decibels and the MacBook Pro Intel that's again almost the same so but the MacBook Pro fans uh, it's almost silent so maybe the because it's connected to heatsink and uh, that's a good thing and the temperatures around so I can notice much more temperature with the Intel MacBook Air when compared to the MacBook Pro and the M1 MacBook Air it's almost cool so this is the result see it for yourself and it's just great and i have also run the gfx benchmark test so see the results for yourself it's almost the higher fps with the m1 macbook air when compared to the intel macbook 
also this time with the M1 MacBook Air the SSD speed has increased so this is uh, almost like uh, twice the uh, write and read speeds with uh, compared to the previous generation so that's a great thing and coming to some uh, browser benchmark test as you can notice uh, both the intel macbook air and pro are almost like the same but the m1 macbook air it just crushes out everything here around here and let's test some real world comparison so right now i'm opening all the ms office suit apps the word the excel powerpoint and right now let's open safari so it just opens like boom so there is no waiting time and i am right now in music app the apple tv app so even the native and also the applications which are not yet uh, optimized or i mean like at this time like every app is optimized and as you can notice here with the bouncing of apps even with safari and like music it takes some like two three bounces so that's that's the speed difference when you compare with the m1 chip and the intel chip of the previous generations and right now let's open some uh, i mean like a music app and even with the macbook pro so it's noticeably uh, slower than the m1 macbook air so with this we can understand not just in synthetic benchmark but also in real world the m1 macbook air it's just ahead the competition so we'll have some physical differences the previous generation of intel macbook pro and macbook air it has the really flat butterfly switches so it was prone to some issues and uh, there were some replacement and going on so with the m1 macbook air so it's back to the scissor switch so there is a good travel in keyboard and also it's more durable another issue that we had with the previous macbook air was the display so the 2018 macbook air it couldn't display this webkit logo because of the p3 white color gamut was missing so right now with the m1 macbook air it is present and also all the display tech is same just that the macbook pro has 500 nits of max brightness compared to the 400 nits so only thing if you are using it outside it matters so right now let's compare some sound test I really appreciate the wide stereo sound of the M1 MacBook Air so it has come a long way and no other laptop sounds like this listen to this and the crazy part is the battery life it's just amazing 18 hours of battery life with the M1 MacBook Air and right now with the video i have started all these computers with around 100 percent battery life and the m1 macbook air still has 80 percent so that's wow so with all these advantages if you're using intel macbook air or even the pro the m1 macbook air is a good upgrade so to answer the second question is it worth waiting for the m2 macbook air we might be getting this by October or November of this year or probably by end of the year or next year and the only reason to get this is if you are planning on displaying two external monitors without any dock or something so that's one of the reason and if you are into the MagSafe thing so that's another reason but I don't think the white bezels or the white keyboard would interest anyone again it's a personal choice again we'll have slight increase in the performance in cpu and mainly the gpu performance but again the m1 is no sludge but as of now with the present price the m1 macbook air it's still the best value and also it looks professional so with the silver or the space gray color so we might not be getting them with the redesigned m2 macbook air so that's one of the reason why i got this macbook air the m1 macbook air even in 2022 so that's all i had in this video thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and as always stay safe and peace